There has been a ton of development within Axie over the past few months, so if you want to stay up to date with all the progress, here is everything you should know. Origins is Axie's flagship game, and with the conclusion of Season 5, we've seen one of the most diverse and varied seasons yet. This is in no small part due to the efforts of the balancing team working tirelessly to find the best solutions for a thriving meta, and their hard work has been paying off. Season 5 generated the most revenue for the Axie treasury ever before. Origins has managed to maintain a daily active user base of over 20,000, and the team shows no no signs of slowing down continuing to ship relentlessly. We've also seen the introduction of some brand new starter axes back in July, and these had great reception, inspiring players to theorycraft and build teams around these starter axes, which is why at the beginning of Season 6 the team announced Bing and Sha. These starter axes will not only inspire new strats, but also aid the team in their new focus of improving the new user experience. We've also seen the introduction of axie experience points, a brand new system allowing us to ascend our axes to higher levels. This means axes can change over time, and this is a huge stepping stone towards part evolution. The idea of a Web3 battle pass has been an alluring one for quite some time, but the team has begun experimenting with this idea by providing in-game rewards for collectible Axie owners. This is a very interesting addition, and I'm excited to see how it's iterated upon in the future. Axie Classic was the game that captured the hearts of millions worldwide, but even after a year of no internal support, the game has managed to maintain a monthly active user base of 10,000, which is impressive to say the least. Because of this, the team has began several initiatives to support this huge branch of the community, even considering adding AXP into Axie Classic. But on the more casual side, Axie Homeland was launched less than a year ago, and in that time we've seen three playable seasons, as well as a host of updates and new features. Land Delegation was announced in June. This is a system that allows land owners to delegate plots of land to players in a mutually beneficial agreement. Spy X Ragoon's attack was next. This was a system that allowed players to steal each other's resources, improving the game's complexity and connectivity. Finally, with the introduction of the pre-beta, the team started to focus on reworking the reward structure to better fit the Homeland gameplay. But there is no shortage of excitement for the future with two images being leaked showing a brand new art direction for Axie Homeland. Now, on a broader note, App.axi is the hub of Axi activity, and it too has seen its fair share of updates, like the integration of AXP, as well as the introduction of the Luna Log. The Luna Log is a hub of information for not only the Axie universe, but also its entire player base. The badges section reveals four milestone-based leaderboards, as well as a list of your own achievements. In the catalog, we'll provide you with information and lore on just about anything Axie you can think of. Think of it like a Pokedex, but for Axies. And the fun doesn't stop there. New Axie experiences are popping up left and right. Project T was announced back in August. This early prototype allows players to bond and interact with their Axies like never before, as well as play mini games and interact with players in a much more social setting. But Project T is really just the tip of the iceberg. With the introduction of the Mavis Hub Greenlight section, the Builders program has gone into full swing. The Mavis Hub Greenlight gives players access to all the games currently being built by other Axie players. This has been invaluable in receiving vital feedback in their budding communities. And the games with the most community support will have a strong case for future funding. For even more excitement, in September, the very first Axie Game Jam was announced. This is like a game-making marathon. For two weeks, solo developers and teams will work tirelessly to create brand new Axie experiences. Players will then playtest and vote for their favorite games, and there is up to $20,000 of prizes on the line. So if you want to sign up, you better hop on it because registration ends on the 15th of October. Axie Governance has 
also made strides. With the introduction of Phase 1, the doors have been opened for all Lunassians to apply to become contributors. This is a big step towards a decentralized future. The Axie universe is expanding in all angles and continues to improve with each iteration. So have fun, and until next time, I'll see you in the arena.